In this video, I'm going to talk about how to correctly trade moving averages. But first, what is a moving average and why may these be useful in your trading? Now, I myself personally like to use moving averages as what I call reference points. They are used in my trading as a deciding factor on where I'm going to go about setting my stop loss and take profit. So essentially, where am I right and where am I wrong? However, moving averages can be used in many different ways. They can be actually implemented into your trading strategy or just used solely alone. Let's talk about the three main moving averages that I use and have found to be the most successful when integrated into my trading over the last several years. Now, the first moving average is going to be the SMA or the simple moving average. And specifically, the length for this SMA is going to be 180. Now, what that means is that this simple moving average is essentially going to take into account the average price movement of whatever stock you're looking at over the last 180 days. And I wanted to say when it comes to time frames, this is a moving average that would typically be used on a four hour time frame. And you can see right here, the green line representing the 180 day SMA. Now, what would this actual line tell us when we're looking at a chart? Well, first things first, when we look at a chart, we want to identify whether that moving average, whether it is the 180 day SMA or another moving average is what I like to call being respected or not. And that means that we want to see price movement specifically when looking at the candles, we want to see that they are trading and when they approach this green line, this 180 day SMA, that the candles are bouncing off of this level. So when we can see that the 180 day SMA is obviously being respected where candles are pulling back and bouncing off of this green line, right? pull back, bounce, pull back, bounce, pull back, bounce. That means this level is being respected. Now, if the candles are trading above this 180 day SMA or any other moving average, that means the moving average in this case will be acting as a support level. And on the other hand, if the candles are trading below that moving average, well, that means it will be acting as a resistance level. Okay, so using basic support and resistance, looking at how candles interact with these moving averages, knowing that if we can see that candles have tested and bounced off of that moving average many or multiple times, that is just gonna confirm and validate that that level will either be acting as a support or a resistance level. And that would give you a good indication on where you'd likely look to get out of the trade because if we break below, after seeing that we have had several weeks or months where candles were trading above the 180 day, but all of a sudden we break below and all of a sudden we lose this support level, then that's a good indicator that we should probably get out. And on the other hand, if we're trading below the 180 day and we break above, well, if we look back and see that historically we've had tests, rejections, and we've continued trading below, well, that would mean that we just broke resistance. And this right here isn't the best example. On this chart, we can see a very good representation of the 180 day acting as support. Now, the second moving average I like to use is another simple moving average. And this length or period of time that we're gonna be looking at is going to be the 50. And I typically like making this red on my chart. So this will be the 50 day SMA, just like the 180 day SMA, whether candles are trading above or below, that means that moving average will be acting as a support or a resistance level. Now, when I say we want to make sure that moving averages are being respected, that means that anytime you see any sort of chop on top of a moving average where we're not, you know, indefinitely trading above or below, we're kind of just trading right through it. Well, that tells us that this level or this moving average, right? whether it is the 50 day or the 180 day is simply not being respected. If we are trading above it and we can see pullbacks and tests, and then obviously bounces off of that level, we could see we're being respected here, but back here, well, when we're trading straight through both moving averages, well, we can't say that they're being respected, can we? 
And the last moving average I like to use, the third one is the exponential moving average or the EMA. And I like looking at the 15 day EMA. Now this is obviously going to represent the average movement over the last 15 days. So unlike the 180 day, when we're looking back over the last 180 days on the four hour time frame, well, we can consider the entire bigger picture, but when we're looking at the 15 day, well, we can only really take into account the last 15 or so days of price movement to see whether the 15 day has been respected or not. So what we wanna look for using these three moving averages is that either one or all, preferably all are being respected on that chart. And then based off of where candles are currently trading, whether that is above or below, we can use these moving averages as support and resistance levels. If we break below support, we would look to get out of that trade. And if we break above resistance, we would look to get out of that trade. And you can combine this idea and concept using these three moving averages as support and resistance as long as they are respected over their given period of days, right? Whether that's the 15, 50, or 100. Well, then hopefully this will give you a little more edge into finding consistent profitability in the stock market. Now, if you'd like to learn the entire system I put in place, which does take into account these moving averages and a whole lot more, if you'd like to learn how to become a profitable trader yourself, and if you'd like to also see my each and every trade in the market on a daily basis, then click the link in the description below to learn more. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.